Hey, my name's Justin, and this is The Art of Repair. And this right over here, that's my mini fridge. All right, so why are you introducing the mini fridge? The mini fridge is not on staff. Well, believe it or not, the mini fridge is on staff and has one of the most important jobs of pretty much anything sitting in your lab that you don't really touch all the time. Okay, I know there's a lot of stuff that you probably have sitting around that you think you need, but you don't need. But this one, you definitely need it. And I'm about to give you four reasons why. Okay, first one is flux. Flux itself dissipates in heat. It's activated. It starts to go away okay that's why they say sometimes if you leave it out flux is only gonna last a couple months you put it in the fridge it's gonna last you a couple years okay I've literally had these little fake Amtec vest oh I love it it's invisible these little bitty flux things I've had them for years and they never go bad and I always keep them in the fridge but I will tell you I have left them out and they've gone bad in about two or three months okay so that's reason number one reason number two we had a video not too long ago about solder paste. What is 50% of solder paste? Flux. Got to go in the refrigerator. Okay. Now, the next two items, I'm going to go ahead and mention them, and you may not understand why they're in the fridge. Okay. Uh, the next two items and the next two reasons are polarizers and Oka. Polarizers and Oka definitely, absolutely need to go in the refrigerator. Why? Because the polarizers themselves only have glue on one side. While it does have two pieces of film, it's only got glue on one side. So what happens is, as you heat the glue up, or I don't know, as you leave them out, the glue that's actually like on the, the sticky side of the polarizer will start to warp with the very thin plastic sheet that's on it because those pieces of plastic are, they're throwaway. They're not supposed to be there, so they're gonna use the thinnest stuff possible, okay? So that would be the cause of why whenever you put one on to roll it and you pull the little thing off, it curls up and bounces right off, which is a major frustration for a lot of people out there, okay? So that's reason number three. Now, reason number four is also just as frustrating, okay? Uh, let's go back to the same situation. You are with your, uh, your roller and you're about to laminate the, the oak on there right after you did the polarizer, okay? And you put it on there, you're peeling it off, and it, it starts to come off like string cheese, and you're like, oh, come on, let me win today. You can win by put it in the refrigerator, okay? When you put that thing in the refrigerator, it's going to keep it nice and cold, so whenever you actually laminate it, or uh, I say laminate, but we're rolling it, okay? Um, when you roll it on there, it's going to keep a nice uh, rigid form versus being kind of like, uh, like sticky, gummy, and gooey from being exposed to the heat all the time, okay? So you should be taking out your polarizers, your laminate, uh, I'm sorry, your, your polarizers, your oka, uh, your flux, your, your solder paste. You should be taking it out, using it, and when you're done, you should be putting it back in. Now, obviously, if you're using your flux and your solder paste all day long, it's okay to have it out all day. It's not going to kill you. Just put it in at the end of the day. But when it comes to your polarizers and when it comes to your oka, that stuff needs to come out as you use it. Okay, so if you're in a big refurb lab, pull out 10 at a time, 20 at a time. That's cool. Just bust them out, but don't leave them out because they get ruined. Okay, you start to use them. It's been too long. They start to get messed up. Boom in the trash. Boom in the trash. Or even better yet, you get them in the mail. And this is my favorite because if a polarizer goes bad, it ain't going good again. Okay, it's just not happening. You leave a stack of 100 of those things out and you know, back in the day, those were pretty expensive, pretty expensive. You leave out a whole stack of them, you're out, you, you could have been out $100. Now, they're not as expensive nowadays, but who really wants to waste like a whole pack of polarizers? You know what I mean? So with all that being said, I hope that you guys see a couple of the reasons why I have a refrigerator in my lab and why you need one in yours. So hey, I really hope you learned something today. In fact, if you uh, liked the video, go and hit right over down there and hit the like button. And if you're not already subscribed and you wanna start checking out all my stuff weekly, just head on over to the other side and hit subscribe. Now, if you are super about it and you wanna learn everything that I'm trying to teach, whoop, boom, hit that notification bell, all right? It's really important. That way, every single time I upload something, it pops up right on your phone, your computer, whatever you're doing, all right? And hey, check it out. Maybe you have an opinion about what I'm doing right now. Or maybe 
You even used my technique on a repair and it worked for you. If any of these things apply to you or maybe you just want to say hi, hit me up with a comment. I love them. Seriously, I love the comments. They're my favorite. Every time I get one on my phone, I'm like, oh yeah. And if you are one of those people that is about to look me up on Instagram um, to ask me what equipment I use, well, guess what? I already got you. Don't even worry about it. Hit the description, boom, right down at the bottom has everything in a big old list. If there's something that I didn't put on there, then hit me up on Instagram, the phone god, check out my stuff, then hit me up and let me know what you need. And don't forget, I'm Justin, and this is The Art of Repair.